like it at all. but we're close to Illinois, 0.9 miles to be exact. So we're going to be crossing into Illinois. And last year we stayed in, last year we stayed in Illinois at this place, our video I think was entitled, uh, Sometimes You Find a Hidden Gem. And I really felt like this place was a hidden gem. It was in Sterling, Illinois, and I'd love to be able to go there. Oh, we're just about to cross the Mississippi River. It's always cool to to uh, cross the Mississippi River, so now we're in Illinois. I didn't see a welcome sign though. I saw, let's see, there's got to be one coming up. I'll see if I can find it. As I was saying, last year we stayed, oh yeah, it's coming up. It's coming up, the sign. So I guess we'll get back to you on what happened last year. <laughs> I always like to show those welcome signs. I think they're cool. Welcome to Illinois. I think it says Land of Lincoln or something, if I remember correctly from last year. It did say Land of Lincoln, I saw it. So, last year we stayed at a place in Sterling, Illinois. I think it was called Crow Valley Campground. And I really liked it there. Oh, I just loved it. it there were a lot of mosquitoes, but they had a swimming pool and we swam. And I'll try to link that video at the end of this one. I really liked it there. Oh, here we go, Sterling. One mile. Oh, we have to take 88 to get there. So we went there and we stayed there, I think, for like four days. It had had flooding not that long before that. I think about a month before that. So the, there was a river in the back and there were a ton of mosquitoes, probably because of the flooding, but I just really liked it there. As soon as I got there, it just... Sometimes you get to a place and you just get a certain feeling and I think I said that right in the beginning of that that other video that it just gave me a feeling of wow I really want to stay here it's really nice so it's fun when you get to a campground like that I wish we I wish we had time to stop at that campground again and stay there but uh, it costs a little more on the weekends and this is a weekend so but hopefully we'll get to go to it again. It is definitely a place I'd like to go to again at some point. But right now we're headed to Michigan City, Indiana. Illinois is not a new state for us. We've been in Illinois obviously last year. And we've been in, uh, I've been in Illinois before a few times.
back on this stretch of road that we were on last year. We remember it. Sal said it's not fun. They don't like it at all. A lot of traffic. Lanes that end. You have to get in the other lane. It's like, I don't know. It's kind of stressful driving on this stretch of road here. Pets are doing okay. Just snoozing. Four, 4.22 p.m. right now. See how long it takes to get out of here and I'm moving again. to that Southland Oasis last year. Lincoln Oasis. Got some gas. Oh yeah, I think we did. I remember that. What? I remember that. Yep. I think we went there. You're right. It was an oasis too. We had to we had to stop. We were stuck in the traffic. 309 the gas isn't too bad there, diesel. We're in Indiana. I remember when we got here last year, I looked up some Indiana facts and I read them to everybody. So it's 5.06 and we appear to be moving finally. Although maybe slowing down a little bit here. But hopefully we'll keep moving now. That's uh, about 45 minutes, I think. in or near Michigan City, Indiana. And I believe we're gonna be on the, right near Lake Michigan, which is kind of cool. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> I, think yeah, cool. Never, I don't know if I've ever been near Lake Michigan before. I might've flown over it once or, or close to it, but I don't know if I've ever actually driven by it. Yeah, we, I think we flew over it when we went to Montana. We did fly over it. The way back we flew over it also because we landed in Detroit, Michigan. And so we flew over Lake Erie and Lake Michigan, I believe, to get to Montana. Nemo, you like these balls? Hmm? You like those balls, Seymour? Seymour likes those balls. Who likes those balls better, Seymour? You or me? <laughs> oh, we found another ball, didn't you? Don't worry, you're not going to run out now. Not anytime soon. Here he is, playing with his balls. Oh, and chasing Ellie away. All right. We'll see you, Seymour. Seymour says, if you enjoyed the video, click like and subscribe. Seymour says, we want to hear from you, so please leave a comment. 
Seymour says, tell all your friends about him. Seymour says, thanks for watching.